uneven textured skin. I have never done a video on this topic, which is crazy given that as many as 10% of you that complete the Dr. Sam's routine finder quiz on the website complain of this as their number one skin concern. What an omission. Now, if we think about uneven textured skin, many, many different things can cause the surface of the skin to be uneven. We can look at flaking, we can look at rough patches due to sun damage, clogged pores, pitted scars, raised scars, all sorts of things can lend themselves to delivering textured skin. And when the skin is textured, the surface is uneven and the light does not pop off of it in the way that it might do if the skin was smooth. So this is a major goal for a lot of people because it's what delivers radiance. It's the very first component. And I think of radiance as being due to five different elements in the skin, but it's the top one, the most visible one that determines how we perceive someone's skin. So let's look at the ways that we can address textured skin to get us closer to the goal of that glass skin, that smooth, glowy surface that lends itself to natural luminosity. Now, before we talk solutions, let's talk about the common disorders that can cause roughness. So firstly, there's the dry skin disorders as a group. So that's conditions like eczema and psoriasis in the different forms that that comes in. Now, of course, the tendency for the surface to lack water can lead to flaking and scaling into roughness. And it is beyond the remit of this video to try to address those things, but obviously getting appropriate medical advice um, combined with regular hydration steps is key to getting a smoother, more comfortable surface to the skin. Acne in its many forms can cause a rough textured appearance. Comedones themselves can lend a textured appearance to the skin. Different types of scars, as I mentioned before, can result in an undulating surface, whether you've got rolling scars or the deeper, more narrow ice pick scars, box scars, which look like this, and akin to chicken pox scars. All of those can result in a textured appearance in the complexion. Then there's other disorders like keratosis pilaris, which can affect the backs of the arms commonly, but can also creep up onto the cheeks, something called keratosis pilaris rubra facii, and it tends to be accompanied by some redness. And of course, when it comes to UV rays, chronic exposure can lead to skin changes over time that result in a thickened, mottled, rough textured appearance of the skin with uneven skin tone. And of course, with lots of UV exposure, it can lead to more sinister changes. So of course, if you see anything focal and localized that is becoming scaly or rough textured, do go and get that checked out with your doctor. Now, in terms of what skincare can do for your skin, if you are experiencing uneven skin texture, the first thing to look at is the simple act of exfoliation. And my preference for exfoliation is to use chemical exfoliation. Alpha hydroxy acids would tend to be my go-to. Now, molecules include glycolic acid derived from sugarcane and lactic acid, which is gentler, um, more hydrating chemical exfoliant derived from milk, um, which is better suited to sensitive skin. These will deliver a nice boost in terms of increased smoothness of the skin, which will lend itself to being optically brighter. And as an additional benefit, AHAs are also humectants so can help with hydration as well. Now, if you're acne prone, my acid of choice for exfoliation is the beta hydroxy acid or salicylic acid, which is typically used. And that's gonna give you a nice smoothing effect, but it's also gonna help with clogged pores and it's anti-inflammatory and it gets down into the oily pore, which is what you want. Now for AHAs, I like the ordinary 7% glycolic toner. And for BHAs, try Flawless Neutralizing Gel, which contains 2% salicylic acid with azelaic acid and bacuchiol. Now, if you're enjoying the benefits of adding in an AHA or a BHA, you might want to think about adding in a retinoid at night. Perhaps a little too much for those with very sensitive skin, but combination can be really, really powerful. So it's worth trying if you're still not quite there with the level of smoothness that you're seeing. So retinoids act to improve our skin's own exfoliation mechanism. So we're all losing skin cells all the time as this top layer of the skin turns over, retinoids speed up that process. And when that happens, that reveals these optically brighter cells underneath, which delivers a really beautiful glow and luminosity to the complexion um, and 
frankly, I think retinoids deliver the biggest bang for the buck when it comes to smoothing out skin texture. And they also do a lot of other things as well, like improving fine lines, evening out skin tone and reducing the risk of breakouts. So really a true beauty all rounder, but I definitely think they're worth considering if skin texture is your biggest concern. If you're new to retinoids, do watch my retinoid revelation series, where I literally take you step by step to choosing a retinoid, to starting it, to dealing with any of the hiccups that can come when you start out. They can be a little tricky at the beginning, but it is tough love worth pursuing, I promise you. Now, when we're using active ingredients like acids and retinoids, using daily sunscreen is a given, but remember, we're also trying to prevent those aging UVA rays from triggering textural change all on its own. The right sunscreen is the one you actively like using, but please go for a high SPF 50 or higher and look for one with high UVA protection because it's those aging UVA rays that we want to prevent from harming our skin. Now, of course, there are in-office procedures that are designed to improve the texture of your skin, microdermabrasion, chemical peels and so forth. Myself, I am a fan of the slow, steady approach to improving skin texture, particularly for those of you with melanated skin, where the consequences of procedural um, intervention can be too much and lead to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or at least it's increased risk compared to something like a daily skincare routine. So slow and steady wins the race. It gives you control. It means you can have results that you can control for the long term. And that's what I want for you. So there you have it, my easy to implement plan for improving textured skin. I hope you found that helpful. I'm so sorry that I missed out this really important topic. And if there's something I haven't covered, please ask me in the questions down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.